was 23, I moved to Bushwick, Brooklyn, USA. Across the street from my apartment was a shop that sold pigeons. Pigeons and pigeon feed and accoutrement for raising and training birds to fly above your roof. I learned this neighborhood has the largest community of pigeon flyers in the country. I got this bird, a $5 pepperhead roller I call Alamo Joey. After Joey, I got another and then a few more. And over the years, I've been building these huge coops up on my roof. Raised thousands of birds. Got a few hundred right now. In pigeon flying, I found the ultimate connection to my landscape here in this lousy city. I write zines about my experiences with the flock, raising them, training them to fly, fixing, building the coops, creating little sculptures for them, perches and whatnot. These are the color mat cats, the master copies as we call them. Cut and paste collages, tape and scissors. And then these are the Xerox versions, which I give out to pretty much everyone I know or meet. Sometimes shops sell these things, but I don't know, I kind of just babble on about birds all the time and then give these out to friends. So I'm still babbling to them when, uh, when I'm not even around, you know? And these are some pages from one of my fanzines done on porcelain. I use the same old timey Xerox machine that I print the black and white paper zines on. I print on this porcelain when it's wet and then fire it. And the toner actually burns into the clay body. Toner is made up largely of iron and black carbon. And the black carbon burns away, but the iron See, the iron in the toner actually fuses in the kiln. And high fire English porcelain is a super hard material. This will last thousands and thousands of years. And unlike other stonewares and stuff, porcelain, it really shows imperfection, or, or should I say it shows the print of the maker, the moves of the maker. It casts these beautiful shadows in a way akin to paper. I make these really rough. I really kind of throw them around like a truck driver. And, uh, I want them to read as unique paintings and, and not something that I make in an addition, like the zines. I never print the same image twice on porcelain. And you could see where, where there are cracks formed in the firing. I go in there and I drill and epoxy and staples to seal the wound. So let's go make a couple of these. some water 
for working with this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that ought to do. So what I want to try to do for this, I guess, issue of this new zine is instead of Xeroxing some written on pages, I want to make some, make some slabs of some of my bird's wings. This is Junia, three-year-old lace tiplet. It's the son of Tweedy and her fella. Look at that beautiful lace color there. I think it's going to translate really well on the Xerox. Very carefully. that. So now we'll photocopy this and pull it out when it's when we half dry. This is the wet half. Henson Roller. I call him Marie Claire. He has incredible plumage. Let's do him now. There you go, baby boy. Mwah, good boy. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's do it. And there they are. There's Marie Claire, the Penson Roller, five years old. There's Junia, the Lace Tiplet, two years old. Fire these and they'll be beautiful. This is what pigeon flying is all about in New York. Being up on the roof, being outside, making stuff, taking care of these little dudes and watching them come up.